Good day everyone. My name is Marina Djuric. I represent a small group of researchers from Belgrade Art Lab, which was formed with the aim of promoting and establishing the application of scientific methods in the analysis of rock of arts. It is a pleasure to participate in Florence Heritage again, and I would like to thank the committee of the conference for their help and support. Now I will present our work. It's uh, about mapping cadmium-based pigments using multispectral imaging techniques. A case study on Mrs. Sheva Ristic by Petr Dobrovic. The aim of this research is to explore the possibility of using affordable and inexpensive tools that can achieve a high resolution fluorescence images important for diagnostic and conservation purposes. Fluorescence is a unique imprint of the material and visually easy to read, so therefore still attractive as an analytical tool despite the fact that it is a complex phenomenon influenced by many factors and difficulties in obtaining an, an objective photograph. Cadmium-based pigment was chosen for this research because of its specific fluorescence and as a widely used pigment, especially in a 20th century paintings. The painting Mrs. Sheva Ristich, 1930, by Petar Dobrovic, rich in different yellow colors, was selected for this analysis of cadmium-based pigments. Petar Dobrovic was a Serbian painter, political figure and art critic. His formative years as a painter are marked with Impressionist and Cubist influences. In 1937, Dobrovic became one of the founders of the Academy of Fine Arts of Belgrade, imposing himself as a reference figure of the Yugoslavian painting until his death in 1942. The most notable examples of his rich artistic production are a series of portraits dedicated to artists and intellectuals. Here you can see some of his colorful paintings. Imaging techniques applied on the painting and commercial sample include recording reflectance images and fluorescence images in visible and near-infrared region reflectance and fluorescence spectroscopy in selected points in the painting and samples of commercial paints with Avante Savaspec spectrometer. For the excitation source, blue laser 405 nanometer was utilized. An ED light source was selected because of its monochromatic very intensive light. Long pass filters transmit a large amount of light and it is possible to record low intensive fluorescence in near domain with a high resolution. All images were recorded under the same condition. Light sources were N45 from the normal, approximately 2 meters from the painting. Camera was set at approximately 1 meter from the painting. Fluorescence images was recorded in dark room with a negligible amount of straight light. Calibration of Samsung camera was performed using luminance standard LS6 spectra. Fluorescence was induced with two excitation sources, UV light source and green light source. Long pass filters for green light induced fluorescence IR720, IR850, and IR1000. Before we present the results and discussion, pay attention to the correction factor that needs to be applied in order to objectively compare photos. Comparing the intensity of recording photos of luminance standard with the spectra of black body concerning different filters and calculation of correction factor was executed and presented in Table 1 and Table 2. On this slide you can see photo of observed painting in visible region and photo of UV induced fluorescence in visible region, which confirms the use of different yellow pigments in paints. 
The yellow paints are vibrant with no evidence of fading, discoloration or other manifestation of alteration phenomena and degradation process. Orange fluorescence of yellow pigments suggested the presence of cadmium-based pigment in some yellow paints. Photo of detail from the painting recorded using different imaging techniques indicate using at least two different yellow pigments regarding the emission in your domain, one based on the cadmium pigment and the other without cadmium pigment. Beside that, comparing the images recording in near domain induced with different light sources, we could distinguish different layers of paint. Furthermore, discrete emission from the area containing red pigment was noted, suggesting that green light excitation is more effective concerning the CD-based red pigment. Since both images in near are recorded using the IR850 filter, the contribution of emission from paints containing CD red pigment could explain the larger emission area in Fig 4D. White pigments, pines, and most of the pigments of painting have emission until 700 nanometers. Images of green light induced fluorescence recorded with three different filters, Figure 5 are produced with the correction factor applied. Images in figure 5b and 5c are modified. Brightness is increased two and four times respectively in order to improve detail visibility. Changes of emission intensity of yellow and red pigments related to the filters used are obvious. Emission intensity of yellow pigments decreases more rapidly than of red pigments and emission from red pigments became more intensive than yellow as we can observe in figure 5c. Concerning the fact that fluorescence of red pigment is noted only in near domain, it also suggests CD-based red pigment. The areas of different concentration of cadmium can be noted on the presented images because mixing with other colors weakens the fluorescence intensity of cadmium pigment. Image recorded with the IR720 filter, figure 5a, show fluorescence from white pigment, probably zinc white, as well as cadmium based pigments. Emission from white pigment significantly decreases at longer wavelength while in images recorded with IR850 and IR1000 filters, it cannot be observed. In these images, only fluorescence from cadmium-based pigment is present. Next slide illustrates applied spectroscopy in selected points. In point 1, shape of spectra explains the orange color of emission in visible region. Spectrum at point 2 has the similar shape at spectrum at point 1, though it has less intensity. The influence of zinc white in mixture significantly decreases the intensity of fluorescence. Spectrum recorded at point 3 did not peak in near, confirming the presence of yellow pigments without cadmium. Spectrum at point 4 has two peaks at wavelength 850 and over 1050 nanometers, which corresponds well with the images in figure 5c, indicated CD-based red pigment. Spectrum of white paint at point 5 confirms fluorescence visible in figure 5a, recorded with the IR720 filter. Here we see the part of uh, recorded spectra in figure 7. Uh, in order to identify NBE peaks of the observed pigments, the peak position and 510 nanometers from a spectrum recorded in point 1 is consistent with the data from literature for hexagonal CDS pigments. 
Likewise, peaks position of spectra at point 2 and 3 are shifted to longer wavelengths, thus illustrating the influence of white pigment in mixture and binder. The comparison of the recorded spectra and images of fluorescence confirms the calculated correction factor presented in Table 2. In Table below, one can observe the ratio of emission intensity for red and yellow pigments calculated from photos in Figure 5. This is Table 3 as well as the ratio of emission intensity for red and yellow pigments calculated from the spectra in the selected points, table 4. We can observe that the presented calculation illustrates very good agreement between recorded images and spectra in spite of using different excitation sources, suggesting that the images of fluorescence in the region could provide objective information of fluorescence intensity of cadmium-based pigments. Identical techniques were applied on commercial sample of CD yellow, CD red and zinc white and their mixtures. The recorded images, figure 8, confirms an intensive fluorescence in here as a main characteristic of cadmium pigments. The spectra of blue laser-induced fluorescence of samples are presented in figure 9. Two peaks positions and 730 nanometers and 1032 nanometers for yellow and one peak position at 850 nanometer for red paint. The peak position of NBE emission for yellow sample at 500 nanometer explains less efficiency of green light excitation for yellow than for red samples. Comparing the spectra of fluorescence of commercial samples and spectra of paints from the painting, we confirm the presence of cadmium in paints regardless different emission profiles. Both spectra characterize the peak position in your domain typical for CD-based pigments. Furthermore, the shape of emission spectra of pigments from the painting confirms the recorded orange fluorescence. Although orange fluorescence of cadmium-based yellow pigment is described in literature as a characteristic of altered pigments, it is not always the case. Hexagonal CD in powder or CD pigments by Sigma Aldrich exhibit orange fluorescence too. The spectrum at point 2 confirms the influence of concentration of cadmium in paint and in the case of the mixture with the white it illustrates less intensity although it preserves the position of maximum. Spectrum of yellow paint at point 3 with fluorescence in green indicates the absence of cadmium. Comparing emission intensity from spectra and recorded images Calibration of the recorded images was performed. As a conclusion, images of fluorescence could be used as a diagnostic tool for separating cadmium-based pigments in the painting. For the excitation source, it is better to use green LED light in order to excite both yellow and red cadmium pigments. The use of longer green excitation wavelength penetrate more deeply into the painting and excite fluorescence from the intact cadmium yellow, which is applicable for varnished painting as well due to near. Excitation source is important for yellow paint, not red, since it could be used for separating different yellow paints. However, not every CD-based yellow pigment could be identified. In addition, the image could be recorded using the IR850 filter, obtaining only emission from the observed pigments, without any influence of surrounding fluorescence binder. Most of the used pigments for the painting and binder have fluorescence in the visible region. In spite of different behavior of different types of cadmium-based pigments, separating and mapping these pigments in the painting 
could be performed using affordable simple technique of recording the image of fluorescence an easy to use diagnostic tool especially for conservators. It is a very sensitive method even for small concentration of cadmium. Thank you for your attention.